Do you have so many big ideas for what you want in your ideal life? And you get really excited thinking about it, but at times you're feeling overwhelmed on how the hell you're going to really make it all happen. Maybe you've been dreaming to be self-employed, creating your own business, or building a life that isn't on the traditional track. When no one else around you is doing the things that you dream to do, it can be hard to imagine that it can be real for you too. So by the end of this video, you're going to learn how you can make proactive but doable actions towards building the pathway that's actually going to lead you to your ideal life plan. Start feeling validated and confident that everything that you believe you want in your life can become true and to stop waiting for the perfect time or the permission to finally start living the life that you want to lead. Escape the nine to five and create your path to freedom. If you're new here, I'm Lydia Lee, the freedom instigator at Screw the Cubicle, where I have mentored hundreds of corporate escapees to repurpose their skills and experience to start a service-based business they can love and run from anywhere. So if you're here to learn how to transition from working for someone else to working for yourself, you are in the right place. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you're notified for every new video that I make and be the first to watch it when it goes live on this channel. So the first step that I would love for you to think about as a way to get closer to your ideal life today is to not let your brain start to get overwhelmed and thinking too big of a picture, too far into the future. That's when our brain starts to get anxious. It starts to go, oh my God, I am so not close to the thing that I want to get to in my life. And that demotivates and de-energizes you. So I would love for you to start with small wins. And what I mean, what I mean by small wins is to start with things that you can control. And very likely is things that are already happening in a pattern that is recurring in your life today. So for example, when I was feeling unfulfilled in my life, when I was working my own nine to five, yes, I want to quit my job. I want to start a business, but the things that I can control like tomorrow or today are, is actually what are the things that are causing me unhappiness day to day. Part of that was my over anxious, worrying brain that was constantly worrying about how much money I need to be making to live a good life. And that meant that something I can control was to get in control of my finances, something I haven't done for many years. And that piece of the project was actually huge in making sure that I knew and understood what it cost for the lifestyle that I really want to have and get real with the numbers. One small action, I didn't quit my job, I didn't go and start a business right away. It was one little thing that allowed me to have clarity to take the next step. So I would love for you to think about what are those one to three things that are causing you tons of angst, tons of anxiety that you know if you could get control of it, it would help you clarify what it is that you want and how it is that you're going to get to a life that you want. Think about those one to three things and I would love for you to share in the comments below of this video so that you acknowledge it and you also get some help and mentorship around the questions that you have. The next step in creating doable action that's going to help lead you to the ideal life that you dream about is to start trying on your ideas and curiosities for size. It's kind of like finding a new coat, putting it on and going, hmm, does this fit me? Do I feel happier in it? Does it improve my life for the better? We don't know how our big ideas affect our lives until we actually start doing a small version of it. So I know from working with hundreds of people that have been looking to leave their jobs is that sometimes they have this overwhelming feeling that it's so hard to achieve such a big goal of owning their own business or leaving, you know, a high paying corporate job. And they don't need to do that right away. So when they try on that curiosity, I wonder what it feels like to be a business owner. I wonder if I can do it. I wonder if I have skills that people will buy. Um, you can start to actually just give away those skills, start helping people around you, start looking for people in your life that you can support and help and mentor so that you can sort of try on for size, whether or not that skill set, that gift, that talent is something that you have deep interest in that you may want to build a business around. For me, an example is when I started having being curious about being a digital nomad and not knowing anyone around me that was doing it. And so what I did was create my, for myself a six month sabbatical to travel to Southeast Asia to try that on for size, not to give up my life in Canada right away, but to really go, am I going to be happier living abroad? Is that lifestyle choice for me? It kind of looks exciting on other people's Instagram, but is it for me? And I had to go out there and experience it. And having a small timeline of six months allowed me to do that freely 
without it being a permanent decision, but it eventually led me to experience that life. And now it being my whole life for six and a half years that I've been living in Bali and that made it real for me. So start small and also start being um, mindful about introducing some of these new ideas in your life without waiting for a big goal to happen. Now, if you've been envisioning what you would like in your ideal life and you're starting to think, oh gosh, it's so not in this traditional, conventional trajectory that everybody else is doing and what I've been taught in school or what my parents taught me, and you're starting to realize that actually there's not a lot of people around you that want to do what you want to do, it can feel kind of disheartening that you're the only one that's kind of a rebel, right? Or are you nuts or having a midlife crisis too early or something like that, right? By thinking that you want to change your life uh, in a way that no one else around you is doing it. So this is where I recommend to give yourself some exposure therapy. Right. And why do we want exposure therapy It's because you only know what you know. So if you're surrounded by people, environments and culture that isn't in alignment with the values that you want in your life, you got to change that up and you have every control over how you want to curate people, environment and stories and experiences that's actually going to help your brain to absorb that new evidence and believe that you, too, can have that kind of life. So if you don't know people around that, uh, around your life that is building a business or looking to have a location independent lifestyle or whatever it is that is your dream, you want to consciously seek out those people, whether it's joining meetups or groups or Facebook groups or joining communities or going out there and meeting new people. Those are the people that are going to help you change your mind and help to accelerate your learning curve to meet your goals faster. So for me, going back to the dream I had about, you know, being location independent and being a digital nomad right in the beginning of six years ago, right? This was happening. I took a trip out to Penang, my hometown where I actually was born. And I met an amazing German guy who taught me how to turn marketing skills that I already had into an online gig. To me, this just blew my mind. I read the four hour work week uh, from Tim Ferriss and it was all coders and programmers and techie people. I didn't resonate with that. And I was like, oh, maybe it's not for me. And then here I was meeting someone one who had the same similar skill set, who built his life in a way that I want to build mine and seeing him do it and watching him and hearing his stories allowed me to feel that I too can do it. So it's so important to surround yourself with the people that are ahead of you, that can mentor you, that can support and cheerlead you to get to where you want to go, because that is the one biggest, most powerful way to change your mindset and change the reality of what you think is possible. So the mindset shift that I would love for you to take away from this video today is to know that small steps and incremental effort and focus will lead you to bigger outcomes in due time. And there are things that you can control today. Start thinking smaller, start thinking about your environment, start thinking about the people and things that affect your decisions and choices in life. So to get you started, on gaining some of that knowledge, right? Giving some of that exposure therapy that I talked about in this video is I'm going to give to you. I'm going to put the link at the bottom of this video, um, the training that I have on how to kickstart your life and career change. It's going to lay out what it is that you need to prepare so that you feel confident and validated that that is the path for you. All right, if you love this video today, don't forget to subscribe so that we can continue to stay connected and like the video if you enjoyed it and found it valuable and leave me a comment to tell me the one proactive doable step that you can take today to get closer to your ideal life and make it a reality for you. And of course, if you know anyone in your life that needs to hear this video, need to watch it, please share it with them. And don't forget that you can get even more juicy value videos that I create for you in our recommended playlist to help you in your cubicle crashing journey. Till next time, cubicle crashers.